Okay, so what we've got is we've got the hot end off of the machine, but I'm just going to presume it's on the machine. So what we've got to do is pop the clip up, gently pull out the cable, that's then out of the way, undo the blue cover, Should have probably put the camera on the other side. Now we've got this. What we need to do is remove the cable, remove the fan cable. You might have to hold the plastic in because uh, they haven't been as tight lately. Like that. Take the fan off. Put to one side. We'll need that again in a minute. And then take the, BL, the original BL touch off. We're going to reuse those screws. So we need to keep those, obviously. <laughs> okay. So now we've got the bare unit. Get the original screws back out. We've got the new unit here. We're not going to actually put it on just yet because we really want to put the, um, the touch. So we've got the three different styles that we use. They all use the same holder, which is really nice. So the 3D touch goes this way round. The CR touch goes that way round and gives space for the cable. Cable goes in the top on a CR touch. On the 3D touch and BL touch, cable goes at the back. <coughs> so We use, let's put a 3D touch together. They're all the same. So we use the silver screws and the nuts. Screw it in on the right hand side first. So you want a bit better to move it out of the way. Now what we're going to do put the fan cable <laughs> through the hole and pop that to one side, move that back. Now put your second screw in with a fan cable through. So the fan cable's through the hole. It does pay to have a hex driver. If you haven't got one, buy one, they're brilliant. We you can it's threaded in, but we advise using the provided nuts because it just secures it. So just put the nuts on the top and then you can do a little final screw up. That's it. And then what we do, bring this back over. That goes exactly the same place 
as original. What I would do at this stage is to fit the cable like so and also put the cable in the PCB. Just makes it a lot easier later on. Now, the mount is grooved. I'll show you a different color one so you can see it's grooved. So you have adjustment on it, which is nice just in case you use different block or whatever. Okay, so that's the basics in. Now you see this cable you can plug in and you've got full adjustment of the unit. So generally speaking, have it about halfway down for the 3D touch or BL touch. Once you've done that, pop the fan back on. That's that bit done. As you can see, nice and tidy. Because it is so tight, unless you cut, unless you cut, sorry, that piece off there, if you cut this piece, you can put this back on. But I wouldn't bother because they're useless anyway. What you want to do is fit the provided three D printed cable ribbon cable clamp. When you put it on, do it up quite loosely and then just push from the base there from here. Just push up and then tighten. That aligns it a bit better with the unit. And then what you've got, you've got your BL touch, 3D touch fitted. You've got adjustment here, you can see. You've got your 3D printed clamp, which is ready just to put your <laughs> put your ribbon in and tighten up. You can put nuts on the back, but this is PETG. It doesn't really need it. And then all you do, if you've taken it off, bolt it back on again. Two here, one on the bottom. And you will get a disc. When you set it up, bring the nozzle down onto the bed, slide that underneath and adjust here so that this goes underneath with a nozzle set on the bed and it's clear space. That will give you enough uh, space between the pin and the nozzle so it can pop in and out without hitting anything. So once it's together, nozzle down on the bed, just you, just um, do it manually on the back of the machine. Your disc goes under the pin and you can adjust up and down until you get it just resting on there so that the pin can move pretty much like that. Done, finished. There's nothing else to do. Enjoy your machine.